what's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be looking at nasdaq one thing i love about nasdaq is that it works perfectly well with smart money concepts if you're looking to trade smart money concepts and you're paying attention to nasdaq you're going to win a lot of trades because nasdaq respects smart money concepts a lot so what you're basically going to cover today is how you can actually make money trading smart money concepts on nasdaq and the only thing you can actually pay attention to if you're looking to trade smart money concepts on nasdaq is firstly understanding the structure of the market secondly identifying areas of inefficiency which could actually serve as draw on liquidity okay so you know where price is likely gonna draw to next and another thing you can actually pay attention to which is actually one of the most important one for me is your point of interest the area which you're going to look to trade from okay your point of interest is actually very important now this is nasdaq right here and this is actually the two hours time frame and from what you can see nasdaq has been an uptrend you see for some time nasdaq has been trending up if you look at this particular chart i think i shared analysis to the free community from this particular area where we had a point of interest right here i think i shared that analysis we had a point of interest right here and we looked to trade from this particular area so what we can see is that price actually returned to this particular area and we had nice reaction to the upside okay but the downside of this is that price was not able to take our external range liquidity because these are external range liquidity right here and from what you can clearly see this is our high right here you see this is our high right here and if you look at this particular area you see this is our low right here so this uh, it was our trading range so price mitigates this particular area and it reacted to the upside without taking our external range liquidity and if you look from the left you can see that we have something like an abc pattern after price took this external range liquidity you see we had a shift in structure right here that is an abc pattern if you pay attention to that you see we have the shift in structure and you see from there price starts to return back to our zone correctively and when price returned correctively you see how price mitigates our point of interest and you see the reaction to the upside and when we had this reaction to the upside one of our students in our community that is our private community our vip community so if you have the interest in joining that you can actually visit our website to enroll for our mentorship so he was interested in trading from this particular area and it was actually a very nice trade for him because from what you can see price came back to that particular area so let's press price forward and see how price actually reacted to that okay you see price comes back to that area mitigates the 0.5 level and we start seeing that reaction to the downside so it was a very perfect setup for him and what was the confluence to this so if you look right here you can see that we actually have a very nice break of structure to the downside you see it was a very nice break of structure and you see this candle that broke structure to the downside was an institutional candle okay you see how price moved with an institutional candle and it mitigates our zone right here and if you look you probably have a liquidity sweep at this particular area see price sweeps the liquidity at this particular area and another confluence you can actually see is that we had a mitigation right here okay you see we had a mitigation at this particular area okay how can clearly see that and before the mitigation what else can you actually see you see we had a break of structure right here i hope you can see that and if you look closely again you see we had another mitigation at this particular area and before that mitigation what can you actually see you see we have another break of structure now what do you have to understand from this particular area if you look at this particular height this was where we got the market structure shift this was where price started to shift the structure because you see we've been in an uptrend and from that particular area at this particular point the shift in structure we have right here was a very little shift in structure a lot of people is going to look to disregard it but from that particular area you see the trend of markets change even though we had a reaction from this demand zone we have right here but from that particular area you see the structure of the market change and let's press price forward and see how it plays out and you see finally we had a little retracement and you see how price reacts to the downside and you see this was where the shift in structure was very obvious that's why i said if you're actually looking to trade nasdaq smart money works on nasdaq but one thing you have to pay attention is firstly identifying what the order flow of the market the structure of the market secondly knowing your inefficiencies and knowing your point of interest which you're going to trade from and from what you can actually see price reacts to the downside leaving some inefficiencies 
and you see how price is reacting to the downside so if you have interest in trading from this particular area this particular zone is where you're going to look to get your entry and take your trade okay but currently price is a little bit far away from this zone so let's see how price reacts from that particular area and you see we have some nice pullbacks but price failed to get to that particular zone so we have another range created demand zone right here so these are areas which we can actually look to trade from so playing price for let's see and see price was not able to get to that particular area so from this particular area this my students had his analysis you see how far price have reacted to the downside so imagine you getting an entry right there and holding your trade down to this particular area i know how much you must have back then okay so the downside of this is that price is now failing to return back to pois instead it's continued in one direction so this is the area i wanted us to pay a close attention to because from this particular area what you can see is that price comes back rebalancing some inefficiency was not really able to get to this supply zone right here but one thing i need you to pay attention is that we have this break of structure to the downside at first price spiked to the downside and let's see what we have and you see price comes back again and we have that reaction to the upside and at this area what do we see we have a market structure shift so this was where we had a market structure shift and i was actually looking at this price action two weeks ago i was looking at this price action but i didn't actually share this setup you could actually look to mark your zone right here this is the whole of the zone you could look to refine your zone maybe down to this area or to this particular area to the extreme level so you could actually look to refine your zone because the market structure shift we got right here actually signifies a possible change in trend okay but why i wasn't able to share this particular setup is that what we had right here is a liquidity sweep if you look at this particular low price only swept liquidity and moved back that was why i didn't have interest in sharing this particular setup okay so let's see what we have now price comes react from a fair value gap right i see price comes again react from a fair value gap so if you pay attention to fair value gaps or you like trading for fair value gaps so this is a very good place you're going to get your entry so that's why i say you should pay attention to your fair value gaps and your zones that is your order blocks and supply and demand levels but where i have my interest to trade from is my supply and demand levels so let's press price forward and see now what you can clearly see is that price comes back mitigates and we have the reaction to the upside so this was what we actually see on nasdaq you see how it's respected that particular zone and a reaction to the upside so at this point this was where i actually saw another trading opportunity and this particular one was actually shared because this was the point of interest which i marked right here i'm playing price for a little bit to the area i saw price i think somewhere here this was where i marked my point of interest and this was my inducement area right here this was a very good trading opportunity and this setup was actually done together with my vip students we we are live and we were able to see this opportunity and this trading opportunity was actually shared to our free community so let me show you right now so these are free community right here and this is nasdaq right here this was when the setup was actually shared after my analysis i hope you can clearly see that so this was when the setup was shared and this is exactly what it looks like so if you have interest in joining this particular community i think the link is in description you can look to join and after the trade i was asking students if they were able to get in so about 31 percent said yes they were able to get an entry 42 percent said they were not able to get an entry and 27 percent of people said they don't have interest in trading nasdaq that they don't trade nasdaq so i think you should pick interest and start trading nasdaq from now i think this was another setup which presented about one is to five freaks to the world trade so this is actually a free community and we actually have other communities but those ones are actually vip communities so this is the setup right here and this is all we needed for this now looking at this particular area which areas are possible areas price could actually react from you see this level is a very good level and you see price could actually react from this particular supply level and another level price could actually react from is this particular one we have right here so let's press price forward and see what we have so what you see is that price came mitigate the first time a little reaction to the upside it came back once more to mitigate and playing price forward and this is where price is currently so if you got an entry this was a very good one and so you see from this particular area this particular large candle at this place this was actually nfp that is not fan payroll it was released today and you see it helped price to push to the upside massively okay helping price move to our target so 
you that is looking at this here is the next area price could react from this particular level i marked right here this is the next level price could react from so from today you should develop interest in trading nasdaq trade smart money concepts on nasdaq and i hope this was helpful understanding how you can trade smart money concepts on nasdaq okay i hope this was a very helpful lesson and if you still having doubt in trading smart money concepts on nasdaq i think from today you should start doing that so thanks very much for watching this and see you in the next one